Begin by disconnecting the ground from the battery and making sure it cannot accidentally make contact again while you are working. You will need to remove the two air inlet ducts, red arrows, as well as the front engine cover, yellow arrow, to get access to the air filter housing on the top of the engine. Remove each duct by compressing them towards the engine, red arrow, and slipping them off the air inlet. With the ducts off, remove the front engine cover. It pulls up and away from the engine, yellow arrow. The cover is held on by five clips, red arrows, and will easily come off with hand pressure. In front of the radiator, you will find the horns. Remove the four electrical contacts, yellow arrows, for the two horns, and using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the horns from the center bracket, red arrow. Cut the zip tie, red arrow, that holds the horn wiring harness to the center bracket on the cross member. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt, red arrow, that holds the power steering line to the center bracket. There are two 10 millimeter bolts holding the center bracket to the front of the car from the back of the bracket, red arrows not shown. Use a small wrench and working from behind the bracket, remove these bolts. Unscrew the two hood stops, one on each side. They simply unscrew then pull out, red arrow. This will allow you to compress the plastic clips, yellow arrows, from the radiator shroud when removing the cross member. Use a 10 millimeter wrench and remove the two bolts, red arrows, holding down the hood release on both sides of the cross member. Pull the hood release up through the cross member and detach the release cables, red arrow, from the release mechanism. Remove the upper two 10 millimeter bolts, indicated by the red arrows, on each side of the cross member. Compress the two plastic clips, red arrows, holding the wiring harness to the cross member and push them down through the holes in the cross member. Lift the cross member out and flip it over. You will need to remove the hood release cable on the right side. It just slips out of its plastic retaining clip, red arrow. Remove the two air inlet ducts. They have a small clip on the top. Push it down and slide the duct off, red arrow. Undo the electrical connection from the wiring harness, red arrow, to the fan assembly. Carefully remove the fan assembly from the car. Take care that you do not damage the four clips, red arrows, two on each side, that help secure the assembly to the radiator. With the car safely off the ground, you will need to remove the engine tray. There are six 8mm bolts, red arrows, holding the tray on. The rear two also help hold the transmission tray. If you're going to leave the transmission tray on, remove the rear two bolts first. Lower the engine tray, reattach the transmission tray bolts, then remove the remaining four bolts on the engine tray. With the tray removed, you will see the radiator drain plug on the lower left front of the car. Place a catch bucket or tray under the plug and use a large flathead screwdriver to open the drain plug, yellow arrow. The fluid will come out slowly at first, so open the reservoir tank cap to break the vacuum and help speed things up. The fluid drains out a small spigot, yellow arrow, facing rearward and not through the red plug. Remove the upper radiator to coolant pump hose. Mercedes-Benz use quick disconnect attaching points, but sometimes the wire clip, red arrow, you need to pull out is facing something that doesn't allow it to be pulled straight out. If this is the case, just unclip it from the radiator and then pull the hose out. You will need to reinstall it before reattaching the hose. Slip the line out of the radiator. There will be some fluid that runs out, so be prepared to catch it and dispose of it in the manner regulated by the area of the country you live in. On the lower right part of the radiator, remove the quick disconnect coolant hose, red arrow. Again, this hose is lower than the radiator drain plug, so be prepared to catch and dispose of the fluid. Next, disconnect the lower automatic transmission line, yellow arrow. Move to the front of the radiator and squeeze together and release the two plastic clips, red arrows, one mount on each side, holding the radiator to the AC condenser. The radiator is now free and can be lifted out of the engine compartment. Take care of the four mounting points, red arrows, on the ends of the radiator when removing and reinstalling.
Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.